That's real. That's real. What's happening? What's happening, guys? Four, Four three, three, two, two one. one. Send it! There it is! All right. Oh, 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 oh my go. god. Oh, oh, here comes the sound, folks. That's right. Wow, that's a lot brighter than I thought. Here comes space. Alright folks, welcome to Today in Space. Uh, it's post-launch. I am in a, a glow of, you know, for a while there. Uh, we watched the launch, so the Falcon 9 CRS-19 mission uh, went off. They launched today. It's on its way to the International Space Station. And uh, the Falcon 9 landed. It landed on the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. And uh, now we're just sitting here outside. Uh, <laughs> got some people outside, but um, it was a wild time. It was, it was, um, I, I still don't have the words uh, to describe what it was like, but um, it was absolutely insane. Feeling the launch was wild, and I am gonna try and take some time to put into words uh, how I really feel about this. But. Um, we had the opportunity after the launch to get everyone together that was still here, that was still able to, to stay for an extra day after the delay uh, for the NASA social. We're going to learn a little bit about them and their thoughts right afterwards, and we're going to dive way deeper into this later. Uh, but um, really, really excited about this uh, and get to know a little bit about the amazing people that we had for this NASA social. Honestly, this is my second one, and even our tour guys were saying this was one of the, one of the best ones they've ever been to. And I can definitely attest to that. This was a, a wild time with great people, and I can't wait to do it again and keep in touch with those people. So uh, check this out, and we'll have more to come up this next week. See ya. All right, so we are here for Today in Space with uh, the NASA Social Group. Uh, we just saw the Falcon 9 launch. It was friggin' amazing. And uh, yeah. yeah, and uh, we're just, we're just going to go around and in, uh, introduce everybody and then we're going to talk about our reaction because I, I, I don't know about you guys but I'm still tangling from that yeah. um, so cool so we'll go around let me take my backpack off all right so pass the phone around and introduce yourself hey everybody this is Jack Fan J-C-K-P-H-A-N on Twitter also known as what what they call me K-pop guy uh, <laughs> once uncle here but uh, you know, that what an incredible experience uh, seeing that that mission launch and what an incredible bunch of people here we have to, 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 to meet and just enjoy that with so it was great Hey, my name's Teresa. I'm Teresa Moon, three on t Instagram. I don't have Twitter. I'm like the only one here without Twitter. <laughs> but hey, I'm Andrew Cantino, Tectonic on Twitter. And this was super epic. And, and like seeing three vertical rockets from one spot was crazy. Starliner and Falcon 9 and a Delta Heavy. It was crazy. I'm Erin Vest. I'm Sword and Snore on Twitter. But you don't have to look that up. It's really hard. <laughs> um, I am going to be taking three more days to collect my thoughts and feelings on this event because I feel so overwhelmed and sad that it's over and I'm ready for the next one. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christina Roland um, at Stina E. Roland on Instagram. Um, I was saying on the bus that my whole body feels like it's about to collapse because the adrenaline went so high and now I'm crashing down from it, but it was the most amazing thing and I also will need some time to collect my thoughts. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andrew Presley, uh, yo Andrew P on Instagram. Um, it was super wild and I was running around messing with all my cameras right beforehand and I think I got some great stuff. Hi, my name is Elena Salazar at Elena C. Salazar on Twitter and Instagram. That was just the most incredible experience with a great group of people. Can't believe we got to experience this, especially after the launch was postponed yesterday. We'd been building so much momentum leading up to that, and I'm glad we got to stay and experience it now. Hey, my name is Zach Hall. I am at Apollo Zach on Twitter and Instagram, and you can also read me at 9to5Mac.com. Uh, the best thing I can say like for a podcast and audio is just how bright it was. It was uh, incredibly bright. Everything else looked dim in comparison to that like orange golden glow, um, and that was what was worth being here. Like It was amazing. Yeah. Hi, so I'm underscore, underscore stellar with four A's on Twitter. <laughs> That's why I was taken. Yeah, <laughs> yes. And so, <laughs> exactly. Yes, I'm hidden. Um, but my name is Haley, and this, I don't know, everything has been amazing. I can't pick a favorite part. Like, I don't know. No words. 
Hi, I'm Susan Millette, um, SB Millette on Instagram, uh, CAP Aerospace uh, on Instagram, and uh, I'm probably the oldest person of this group. I'm a lot older. I've been to a lot of space shuttle launches that were amazing, but to be with this younger group of people, the <laughs> gosh, the energy that's coming from all these young people here has been just exciting as it can be to watch everybody's different uh, career paths that they're taking or they're hoping to take has been just inspiring to me as well as the launch itself. So as that lifted off, I hope all of your future endeavors lift off and you just do the great things you want to do. So thanks for being a part of this. Angela DiLoretto. I'm Angela M. DiLoretto on Twitter and Instagram. I'm sure my thoughts will get more eloquent as I kind of process it all, but right now all I have to say is, holy shit, that was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Back button to pause it. Okay, my apologies. Um, I'm Victoria. I'm on Instagram at Planetary Nomad, and then on Twitter at Victoria underscore Heath7. Um, and I, again, everyone here was absolutely incredible. But one of my favorite things was actually Greg, who was our tour guide. No doubt. No doubt. And I have so many quotes from him, but I think the best was every time we had to get off the bus, he would say, get off my bus. <laughs> and it was awesome. <laughs> What's up? I am, my name is Chris. I'm Guy with Golden on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Guywithgolden.com. But uh, so this is actually my third launch and my second uh, with NASA Social. And without a doubt, this was the best group that we've we've had here. Um, and on top of that, like just seeing three rockets vertical, I, I've heard other people say it, but seriously, like that's so rare. Uh, and, and seeing how much is taking place here on the Space Coast, it's just the scale at which we're building your, our future in space is just, it, it's insane. It's something that you just have to see for yourself. Hi, I'm Kate, and I'm Kate Baum on all socials. Um, I just had such a wonderful experience, not only seeing the rocket, but actually seeing like the group of people that I've been able to spend the last two days with, like come together and just experience this all together. So I just want to say thank you to you guys for making it such a beautiful experience. And I'm Charles Atkinson at military underscore flight on social across social media and a uh, writer with avgeekery.com. Uh, first off, an outstanding group. Uh, I've got to say that. I mean, this was fun. This was great. Y'all are all beautiful. Uh, second, going from the vehicle assembly building to the launch pads, Complex 39, the countdown clock. Um, some of y'all met an astronaut yesterday, Winston Scott, an incredible uh, two-time shuttle flyer. This whole NASA social leading up to today's launch was an incredible moment. The last three days was just outstanding. So a big shout out to the uh, Complex 39 NASA press crew. I mean, this was a NASA social. And thank you very much, everyone. Hey, this is Mary Butcher Kimball, and I am at Straight Out of Nap Time, Mary the Mommy on Twitter and Instagram. You can look on my website at thescenesnob.com, scene snobs, plural.com. And I just witnessed uh, SpaceX do a rocket launch out of Cape Canaveral, Florida. The weather is amazing. My heart is still racing. That was absolutely unreal. You could not only see the launch, but you could feel it inside of your soul. It was unmatchable. I have two children who I love dearly, and this was right up there with one of my top moments of my entire life. I love you guys so much. However, this is probably number three. Um, my husband will probably get mad. All right, the space launch can be four. Babe, I love you. You know it, you're my soulmate, but oh my gosh, unreal. So right on, space is awesome. Hey, my name is Steven Marr. I'm uh, Space Coast local here. Uh, I go by Space Coast Steve on Twitter uh, and Instagram. Uh, look me up on Twitter. It's easier to just say, look up Steven Marr. That's with a PH. Uh, but we had a beautiful launch today. I'm so glad all these people that have never seen a launch got to see one. S seeing people's faces light up for their first launch is just incredible. Um, I've got a lot under my belt. Uh, I estimate maybe 50 60 some launches but it's still just as awesome but having the people see it for the first time is like the icing on the cake um, it was a bummer yesterday that we didn't get to see the launch because a lot of people did have to go home but I'm super excited for the people that got to stick around um, yeah thank you and good night <laughs> <laughs> And that does it for today in space. We're here with the future of space. Everybody, thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next time.